Hey, it's me. I've been thinking about this metaphor for life and I wanted to share it with you. I've been thinking about how life is kind of like being out on an ocean. This huge, vast ocean, each of us in our own little boat. You know those days when everything feels smooth? Like the sun's shining, the water's calm, and you're just sailing along. And then there are times when the storms roll in, the sky gets dark, and the waves start tossing you around. I think the ups and downs are like the challenges that we all face as we navigate through life. Just trying to reach that solid ground that place of peace or spiritual fulfillment we all hope to find, what I think of as true home. You know, like uh, Ram Das said, we're all just walking each other home. And I think how we handle the storms says a lot about where we're at on our journey. Some people, some people seem to steer their boats with such confidence even when things get rough. They're not afraid of the storm. In fact, they grow stronger from it. And they use the calm times to gather their strength and prepare for whatever comes next. And then there's others, and I know I've been this way at points in my life, who get really anxious when the clouds start forming. They might lose control or even stop trying to steer altogether, just letting the waves take them wherever they you know, wherever the waves go. And when that happens, it's like they miss out on what the journey could teach them because they're too scared to face the challenges. They're too scared to step outside that comfort zone. So I think of these storms as symbolizing like the tests and trials, the challenges that life throws at us. And when we're in the thick of it, it can be really hard to know what to do. Like there's negative thoughts and influences that make us question what's true or right, leaving us feeling confused. And then on top of that, we have our own hidden fears and flaws and ignorance sometimes that can make it even harder to see things clearly. But I think I've realized how to cut through all that confusion. And maybe that's what I really wanted to share with you. I've discovered that self-awareness, know thyself, is a sword that can cut through that confusion. Like to develop some kind of self-awareness or spiritual understanding. Because if we don't, what I've noticed when I don't is that I'm like that boat being tossed around with no direction. Without knowing who I am deep down, it's tough to make sense of the chaos that could be around me. So finding some inner stillness, especially, especially when everything feels like it's falling apart, being able to drop down into that state of bliss can make all the difference. And, you know, sometimes it looks like meditation, maybe prayer, maybe some quiet reflection. It doesn't matter. The thing that connects all of those, that all those have in common is that I'm connecting with something bigger than myself. Whether you call that God or source or the universe, what have you. Something bigger than myself that allows me to look at myself, that gives me faith and allows me, supports me to overcome a lot of that resistance to change. I think it's interesting because, you know, we can work on ourselves on different levels Really, I see there being three levels, our actions, our thoughts, and our feelings. Going deep into our feelings is probably the hardest, at least it is for me, because the feelings are often buried so deep and can be harder to control than what we do or even what we think. Like changing how we feel takes serious introspection and self-understanding. It reminds me of how in the past, People were taught simple rules, like think of the commandments, thou shalt not steal. Don't steal, don't lie, right? They focused on actions. And then as humans evolved, as our consciousness evolved, teachings evolved 
with us, right? To encourage people to clean up our thoughts, to recognize that negative thinking can really mess us up inside, right? Think cognitive behavioral therapy or really any psychotherapy. And now I feel like we're being called to dig even deeper, to examine our true feelings, especially the ones we hide from ourselves. Because it's not easy to admit when our feelings don't line up with our thoughts or intentions, when there's that lack of alignment. Because it can feel uncomfortable, even painful. But I think it's necessary. At least it's necessary if we want to grow and really understand ourselves. Know thyself. When we face ourselves honestly and let go of our ego or pride, it enables us to see others in our situations more clearly too, because our outer world is just a reflection of our inner world. I mean, if we're not honest with ourselves, how can we truly understand anyone else? How can we truly be honest with anyone else? So by doing this inner work, it just allows us to untangle all the knots of confusion inside us and maybe around us. It can help us navigate through those life storms more effectively and even help others to do the same. Yeah, of course, there's going to be people that might resist or not get it at first, but over time, you know, as I am that example, the truth tends to bring relief and understanding both to myself and others. I really, really believe that each of us has a role to play. You have a role to play. You know, for some, it might be something that they perceive as seemingly small, like working on a personal habit or reaching out to mend a strained relationship. And then for others, it may be something that they perceive as bigger, you know, taking on bigger responsibilities. But what's important, regardless of it being seemingly small or big, is that we each can grow and contribute in our own way. For a long time in my life, I chased happiness. And I failed to stop and never ask myself, what can I give? What can I give? Instead of always looking for what I can get, You know, what if I think about how I can contribute to something bigger than myself? Because if I just hold on to the good things without sharing that, that happiness that those good things brought me, it fades pretty quickly. But I've noticed that when I use what I've been given to help others or serve a greater purpose, that happiness not only lasts, it grows. So by being open to guidance and looking for ways to make a positive impact, I become part of something bigger. And my happiness seems to somehow become more real, more vibrant. I don't know, maybe not too many people think this way. But I think for those who do, or even open to considering this, It sets up the possibility to receive even more support and insight to get through one's life, those challenges, the storms, and to fulfill whatever role we're meant to play. Anyway, I just wanted to share those thoughts with you. It's been on my mind a lot, and I thought it might resonate with you too. Curious, how have you been navigating your own storms lately? Let me know. I'd like to hear from you. I love you. Connect soon.